What's up guys? My name is Courtney Budson and this is What's For Din. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make shakshuka. No, I did not just sneeze, but if you don't know what shakshuka is, then boy are you missing out. Shakshuka is eggs poached in a spicy tomato sauce. And if you're not a fan of spicy food, don't worry about it. You can just omit the spicy stuff and you will still love this recipe. You can have this for breakfast, lunch, dinner, liner, brunch, <laughs> whatever you want to eat it for. It's perfect for that, but it's so simple, so delicious, and you most likely have all the ingredients already in your house. So without further ado, let's go over the ingredients. You're gonna need some olive oil, some onion, red pepper, minced garlic, tomato paste. Then you're also gonna need some diced tomatoes or regular whole tomatoes. I like to use the San Marzano tomatoes that come whole in a can, just because I think the quality is a lot better. All I do is take the whole tomatoes, pour them into a bowl, squish them with my hands until they're all nice and broken up. And then you have your diced tomatoes. Then I have a bunch of spices here. I have some cumin, some chili powder, some paprika, some cayenne pepper. Now, like I said before, if you don't want it to be spicy, just leave out the cayenne pepper. I have some fresh parsley here, some eggs, of course, and then, of course, we're gonna need some salt and pepper. So, without further ado, let's go over to the stove and get it cooking. So the first thing you wanna do is start preheating your oven to 375 while we make the sauce. So the sauce is so simple. In a large, medium-large, I guess you could say, saucepan, I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil, and by a little bit, I mean a ton. <laughs> And then into that, I'm gonna add my onion and pepper. I'm gonna season that with some salt and pepper. And I wanna cook this until the onion is translucent and the pepper is nice and softened, so about five minutes. My onions are nice and translucent, and my pepper is softened, so I'm gonna go ahead and add my garlic and my seasonings. Give that a good stir, and we're just gonna let this cook for another two minutes, just to get that garlic activated and smelling good. Ooh, it smells so good already. Okay, it's been about two minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and add my tomato paste. Just stir that in. And of course, our tomatoes. And before I stir anything, I just like to season that again with salt and pepper. So you wanna bring this up to a simmer and we want it to reduce so it's nice and thick. So I like to let it simmer on medium low for about five to 10 minutes and I will show you what it looks like when it's there. My sauce simmered for about 12 minutes and you can see it's nice and thick. So I like to just take a spatula, and just even out the top because now we're gonna start adding our eggs. And then what you wanna do is make a well for each egg, and I do each one at a time, so I make a little divot. And then I crack my egg into a ramekin. You do not wanna crack it directly in there because if you get a shell in by accident, it's gonna be really difficult to get it out. Try not to crack the yolks. And then just pour it right in the center. You can do as many eggs or as little eggs as you want. And then you just want to season the tops of those with some salt and pepper. So now all we have to do is throw this in a 375 degree oven for about 7 to 10 minutes. You want the whites to be completely set, but you want the yolks to be slightly runny. If you don't like runny yolks, then just cook it all the way through for about 12 minutes and then you'll be perfect. So I'll throw it in the oven and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. So this is what the finished product looks like. My house smells so incredible, you have no idea. It even smelled good before we started cooking, but now it took it up a whole nother notch. Oh yeah, look at that yolk. Mmm. Ooh, it's spicy. Like I said before, if you don't want it spicy, then feel free to leave out the cayenne pepper. So if you want to remake this recipe, just look below in the description box. I'll leave all the measurements and the written instructions. And if you did like this video, don't forget to smack that like button. And if you're not already subscribed, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you are subscribed and you're not seeing my videos pop up in your feed, make sure you hit that little bell that's right next to the subscribe button so that you can get notified every time I upload a video and you won't miss one. So as always, thank you so much for hanging out with me and we'll see you next time. Bye. Oh gosh. Ha, ha, ha.